legacy is drawing to a close today after the last Bugatti Veyron ever produced is looking to end an era in automotive history. Ladies and gents, behold the Bugatti Veyron La Finale. This is the very last Bugatti Veyron Grand Sport Vitesse out there, packed with 1.200 HP bursting out of a 8-liter W16 engine also responsible for a bone-breaking maximum torque of 1,500 Nm, 1,106 lb feet. The Veyron is a showcase for technology, design and art, in keeping with the Bugatti brand's values of art, form, technique. Bugatti's customers are as unique as its vehicles. The Veyron has created an entirely new customer base for an automotive brand, said Wolfgang Durheimer, president of Bugatti Automobiles SAS. End of an era. Beginning of a new one? The 450th Veyron to come off the assembly line received a two-tone red and black carbon paint scheme and special La Finale badges. Officials might be happy to see the Veyron entering the Automotive Hall of Fame, but news that a customer from the Middle East already purchased the car proved without any doubt even more pleasing. The French supercar was produced in 300 coupes and 150 roadsters along its career, all of them carrying the brand's values that shape performances and design along the years. This is why for the La Finale, designers drew their inspiration from the first Veyron but also allowed the owner to have a say in the design of the vehicle. According to Bugatti, the name of the Grand Sport Vitesse has been incorporated into the outer shell and for the first time in a Veyron, the air scoops and intercooler cover have been painted black. Inside, the cabin is dominated by the Bugatti Elephant, placed on the storage compartment. It was cast in bronze and it sits right above the lettering 450-450 painted in black.